So this question is a simplify question. I know that because it's short, right? It's only about a line and a half. Simplify questions are typically one to three lines long. And I know that because we're provided with this equation. Simplify questions will provide either an equation or an expression. So which of the following values of x is not a solution to the equation above? Hmm. Well, this also has the anatomy of another strategy that I'm going to prefer to use here, which is plug-in answers. So I'll say simplify plus pia, plug-in answers. How do I know I can plug in answers here? Where the question, the way that I know is because the question asks for the value of a single variable, right? We're asked for the value of this x right here. And then all of the answer choices are just numbers, right? That represent that x. So I can just plug all these things in. So when I do that, if I tried, if I started off with answer choice a, I'd have the square root of negative 4, right, squared equals negative 4. Well, negative 4 squared is 16. The square root of 16 is positive 4, not negative 4. And therefore, A is our correct answer because it's not a solution. Now, if you said to yourself, hold up, I thought the square root of 16 is equal to plus or minus 4, you're not far off, okay? But let's let's check a couple of things out and I'll come back to the re I'll come back to why negative 4 is not a solution to the equation. Uh, first of all, 0 squared, right? The square root of 0 squared is going to equal 0. So that's going to work. The square root of 1 squared is definitely going to equal positive 1. So that's going to work. And the square root of 3 squared is going to definitely equal positive 3. That is definitely going to work, right? So under our um, assumptions here, all of the answers would be solutions, and then we'd have a conundrum as to determining which one is the right answer. Now, the tricky thing here is that on the SAT, anytime what your square, anytime you're going to use a square root, if the square root is provided for you, you only look for the positive answer, right? So if the question says square root 9, you're going to say, oh, that's equal to 3, not plus or minus 3. Now, the, the, um, the flip side of that is if you are the one who is adding in the square root in order to solve for the value of a missing variable or the value of a variable, right? Like if I'm solving x squared equals 9 and I say, oh, I should add the square root to both sides in order to solve this, then, at least for this test, you will consider the positive and negative of that number. 